but I don't want to let these sit too long and I have a pretty good scenario happening right now to make all these life hacks a reality. So this one actually uh, is a very much a wintertime thing. Cold slipper vent. I, I'm not the greatest at writing things down, but all you got to know is that there's a specific vent in my house. You might have one in your house. You have to find it. Actually, there's two I could probably use. But this vent, I've got this guard on it right here. And in the summertime, I turn the, the vent up. So cold air gets thrown up where the hot air is and it's, it settles down. It's good, good up. But in the wintertime, ooh, it's down. So I can link this. Um, and if I put this down for the wintertime where it throws the hot down, where it could stay and then rise up, if you put your slippers right here um, and come get them in the morning, oh. Now this would also work, I have one of these in my bedroom. I have them all over the house, but the, this one, this vent is perfect because it's like come in out from the outside and you just stand here in your full shoes and boots and like, oh, uh, it's the cum zone. This is the cum zone. Just because you're getting your, uh, your toesies warmed. So buy one of these directors. The other one that would work is in this bathroom here. This one's straight on the floor. I wonder if that was his wife. She's grabbing her boobies. He left that art when I bought furniture. I was like so happy. You can't imagine because I'm like, that's pooping art. Anyway, there's a vent here on the floor and I keep this insulation on top of it because um, I want it to direct at least the heat out. Air conditioning could stay in there, but it's at five degrees. So anyway, yeah, just find a vent that's a proper position and then get one of those redirectors and point at your slippers and you, trust me, that's a life hack. Second one, tape spice hole. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's a good one. Um, so my spices, right? I have quite a lot of spices and I got to even straighten up my spice drawer. Oh, look at this. So the biggest problem I have with spice, because of course Zeus has a problem with spice, is like I take, I buy this like this is the good McCormick organic onion powder or whatever it is or let me see if we can find one without any modifications on it. Yeah, all right, so this one's got no modifications. So all those holes are open, but those are decent sized holes and they're separated a lot. For some reason, when you buy the expensive shit, the giant fucking hole, like that's a giant hole, but you could see I've just taken a piece of packing tape and I taped over like 85% of the openings. So I'm left with just these two and then I can actually sprinkle the spice like without because if you did that, oh, it's fine. If you did that with all those holes open, the whole bottle would just fall out. Those holes are massive. Do I have another one of these McCormick's that's not modified? Yeah, look at that. You don't need, like, I could even cover this even more. I could do one, one hole open. But I, I don't get it. Like, curry at least is, like, sticky and clumps, so you might need a lot of holes. But onion powder is, like... It's fucking onion powder. It's gonna pour out like sand through the hands of time, leading us closer and closer to our death. Cover that shit. Just cover most of that. I feel like that's something that uh, people are probably just annoyed by it and they don't know how to fix it, so there you go. This one's really more of a talky one. Phone SD fail. So, this is my phone. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Um, it's a Sony, and you can pull out the little card reader thing, and it's both a uh, micro SD card and my SIM card and my fucking micro SD card like I had it in here 200 gig or 200 gig like ex extreme and I had all my music on it all my flack music on it and I had all these like waifu wallpapers that would cycle around on it and it was fine and it wouldn't like like one or two programs would want to use it by default and I'm like nah use the use the internal so I didn't really use it unless I was playing my music or the wallpapers were shuffling, so it was fine. And all of a sudden, my phone starts getting bad. It's a new phone, relatively new phone. It's, I think it might be almost a year now. And over and over and over and over again, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I would go to send, like, I'd take a picture, and i go to send it in Telegram. And it wouldn't be there, and I'd have to wait, and then it would be there. And I'm like, well, that's fucking annoying. I want it to just be there immediately. And then I would go to like tens of video and it would just be, my phone started feeling like it was breaking. Just slowly over a course of probably two weeks, it went from like, this phone is okay, to this phone's a little slow, to what the fuck is wrong? Like my phone would start crashing and erroring and it wasn't out of space. 
And I was getting ready to contact Sony and be like, all right, I gotta pull all my fucking naked shit off of here. And then be like, Sony, my phone's broken, replace it. And then I talked to Dan, the IT man. We all know Dan, the IT man. And he's like, do you have an SD card in there? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, take it out and see if that helps your problem. And I fucking did. And it fucking did. Like immediately a new phone again. And I'm like, what the fuck? And if you've ever plugged an SD card that's broken, like an actual like, error reading writing SD card, or an, a reader writer that's in a computer, even if you're not using it, because I wasn't even using it, but even if you're not using it, it would slow your, your, your Windows Explorer would start hanging up and shit because it's trying to read it. So what was happening with the phone was, it was, even though I wasn't actively actually using it for like the photos or Telegram, it was actually j j j j j j in the background and fucking my phone up. So if you're looking for a cell phone that has an SD card slot because you want you know more storage, that's a risky fucking clicky. So now I have no SD card in here and I just have to deal with the internal memory and the cloud. And it sort of sucks because I want to have 200 gigs of flack on here and we're a place to move things off my phone so I can pull it out and then put the, the blank one in and you can't do it. So, but you know, uh, don't put a, a fucking SD card in your phone because as soon as either the reader in the phone or the card itself gets even a little bit corrupted, your whole phone takes a fucking dump to the point of almost uselessness. No trailers. This is another, this is a me thing, but I highly recommend everyone give the me thing a try because it's worked out pretty good so far. Don't watch trailers for things. I don't know why this is a life hack. This feels, this feels like I'm bullying people, but like you can make a trailer for a movie and you can let idiots watch it. Let those idiots that want to watch a trailer for a movie saying, watch it. If you have no idea what a thing is, it's a brand new IP or property, maybe you check out the trailer. But I will watch a trailer until I'm interested. The moment, if it's two and a half minutes long, until the moment I'm interested, 47 seconds in, I'm like, wait, I kind of want to watch, see this movie. And then shut the trailer off. Like if it was Westworld, well, it's a bad example, but... Westworld, like season one, was phenomenal. And then there was trailers for season two. I don't need to watch a trailer for season two. I love Westworld season one. Of course I'm going to watch it. If you're going to watch the thing the trailer is for, don't fucking watch it. Because there's only idiots in Hollywood editing trailers right now. There's been very few trailers that are actually respectful of the, like, like the oohs and ahs that you're going to get when you're going through the thing. Like, it's just like, oh, this movie, like, I watched a trailer for, I watched The Island, right? With, um, that's a, what's his name movie? Michael Bay movie. And it had young Scarlett Johansson, ugh. And, um, young, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, ugh. And it was, a gr it was a great movie up to the point where it was a Michael Bay movie. Like, there was actually intrigue and mystery at the beginning. Because they're on the island and they want to go to, no, they're on a, they're in the facility and they want to go to the island and you don't know what's going on. And then they have to escape from a facility. I'm, spoilers, by the way. It's a movie from like 2003, so whatever. But uh, the island was great, except for the Michael Bay shaky cam action bullshit. I liked everything else about it. But then I watched the trailer for it. And if you watch the trailer, there's no mystery or intrigue. You're just showing out here in the facility, now they're trying to escape the facility, now they're trying to get back into the facility. They literally, the whole movie's in the trailer. Fuck trailers, no trailers. If, if it's a property, I don't know, watch it right up to the point where I know, and then cut it off. Just, you need to have like the most self-control, like a fucking monk. I'll be like, oh, the new season of Kaguya is coming out. Do I want to watch a trailer? At least a trailer for that was actually like a 10 minute short, which was wild. But yeah, no, it's just things that you, you know you're gonna do. It's like watching the trailer for death. We're all gonna die, but you don't need to watch the trailer for it because it's coming and they want to be surprised. Um, celery soak. Yeah, I know this is now we're getting some really fucking like elderly people tricks and tips. Actually, the only reason I'm starting this whole uh, thing is because I've actually got it going on. So I have this glass thing from some flowers that some woman sent me because she was nice. And if you ever have soft, weak celery, you cut the bottoms off and you drop it in some cold water. And you can keep this in the fridge. I just don't have it in there right now. And my God. Ah! My God, that is some stiff ass celery. Because the celery is just, just, just sucking it up. That's why they do that experiment when you're in like third grade, first grade. 
where you know you put the colored water in and the celery will suck it up and change color and it's like i always kept my celery just in the fridge and now i keep my celery whatever celery i have with the bottom chopped off and a thing of cold water and it's it's just hard i want to harden up my celery put your pecker in there these two are in the bathroom let's go we'll start with wiper shower and i know you know what you think you know what this is but you don't and if I put on these lights, you'll see my reflection. But if I put on these lights, you won't. It'll probably still be bright enough. So, welcome to my shower yet again. Um, this is the shower squeegee that I usually use. The one I looked for and bought. The widest one I could find. 12 inches, nice metal handle. And, it, you know, you, you, you squeegee the windows when you're done in here. Because it's a fucking wall of glass. But I was in here, that's just goo. I was in here and I started noticing there's scratches here. And I'm like, were those scratches there when I moved in? I'm like, like there's a big fucker right here. It's like, oh God. You don't notice it when the water's on the shut thing, but I figured out that it's, um. so here's my squeegee, right? And if you're going back, it's fine. But if you go to spin it, like this to go some other direction these edges these metal edges they're not not they're not fine so you have to go in one direction then lift and go the other direction and i'm like this is stupid number one this is too big for a 12 inch fucking thing i'm doing like 19 passes and number two why are there sharp metal fucking edges on this enter the costco michelin wiper blade so this is just a car wiper blade 17 inches i wanted to i didn't want to get something so big but it's like three inches away is that a 14 inch maybe it's a 16 inch this might be a 16 inch and that might be bigger than that i don't know point is it can be as big as you want and you can go in both directions like a windshield wiper does and because if you put this on your fucking seventy thousand dollar audi and it fucks up. Michelin doesn't want to pay for a windshield on your $70,000 Audi. So there's n everything is rubber coated or very, very soft plastic. There's no sharp. You can't, you can't fuck it up by going no matter how fuck up you are. Now this one has just this. I'm going to 3D print a handle so that I can hold it, but I can just windshield washer the entire fucking thing and not deal with the squeegee. Because if you go to Amazon, you look for a squeegee, you can get a bigger one, but it's like the one of the ones you put on a stick to squeegee things, and it still has a sharp metal problem. Just get a fucking wiper blade for 10 bucks. Literally one blade is $10 at Costco. And you just go like, like it's so fast. That's, that's a fucking, that's a, I know who she is now. She's Nana? No, Nini, fuck, not Momo. She's from uh, Two Love Rue. Yeah, a fucking wiper blade. And you know what, it's $10. And in a couple months, if that thing wears out, which here's another thing, wiper blades are designed to go on cars doing 70 miles an hour in the rain with dirt and clean your expensive windshield and not damage it. So how long do you think it's gonna last in a fucking shower? Probably forever. Um, I'll go out there just for tradition's sake and read, read the last one before we go in there and we discuss something that's actually the most important thing and it happened today i added this to the board today and it's i wish i would have so seen someone else's life hack that said don't sink perfume don't sink perfume don't do it and you're like well what are you what what are you fucking high Zios? no no um I have these three perfume bottles because I'm a man and I need my perfume. I didn't buy any of these. They're all gifted to me. I've got Cool Water for Men, the Smash Collection, gift. I've got Mankind by Kenneth Cole, wrapped in leather, gift. And I've got this looking motherfucker, which is an L. It's just an L. What is this? Uh, made in slash Fabrique Aux, uh, USA. Uh, Cody Prestige? I don't know. Whatever. So, oh, I'm like a man. So these lived here. When we're getting to it, don't worry. These lived here. Because that's, they looked cool there and I kept them behind my mirror and it's great. The problem is that also lives here. And if I'm like, hey, go play fucking house music. 
you know, this door's closed and it's blasting house music and shaking everything. And even if that's not there for you, putting perfume above your sink is a bad idea. Because about a week ago, maybe a little more, 10 days ago, I was in the shower and I had this blasting music and it was boom, 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 boom. I'm like, oh shit, it's fucking awesome. And then I get out of the shower and I open this door and this mankind had vibrated to the edge of the shelf, was leaning on the door and then went, goop, into my sink. And I thought nothing of it. I was like, oh, fuck, I'll put that back in the thing. And then the cleaning ladies were here yesterday and they clean up the whole house and they make sure the shower is spotless and they do, they do all the things that I am no way incapable of as a man or a, a, I'm an important YouTuber and I can't think about cleaning the scum out of my sink, so you pay someone to do it. And every once in a while they'll damage something. The top of a speaker will be like, oh, what did you do here? So I come to come here last night, rinse, mouthwash, spit into my sink, and then notice the huge spider crack. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll be able to even visualize this on the camera, but we'll take it off my head anyway. So anyway, there's, there's that. There's that like impact zone, and then the cracks that go all the way across. To the point where there's one, two, three, four. And if I went down here, there's some water under my sink. I'm like, oh, fuck, what? And I'm ready to kill the cleaning ladies because I, I don't remember, but I dropped the perfume. And it just so happened that I was like, Pasta, did you see this? Do you think the cleaning ladies did it? And Pasta went, oh no, my friend did something very similar. Yeah, apparently a perfume bottle just fell out of her vanity. Hit the sink, cracked the porcelain sink, and she had to change her whole vanity. And I'm like, well, I'm not doing that. Um, here's where the impact point was on the side of this Mankind bottle. It actually, there was actually still powder residue from that on this, which means it's like, yeah, that's what did it. Okay. It wasn't a cleaning lady, so I'm not cleaning it improperly. But it was like, oh, fuck. So now these will always live in a drawer. And I think you should really assess if there's anything in your, in your vanity that is hard enough and heavy enough to crack your fucking sink. Cause fuck me. So now, that's the end of that life hack. I'm going to try to impregnate that sink with, uh, where is it? Here, this stuff. I have this 511 impregnator sealer, which I bought actually for the shower because there's this, this like, extends into the shower and the water would land there and it would soak through out to here and this would get all weird and moist from inside the shower but i use this impregnator sealer to seal that and it hasn't gotten wet since so i'm um, trying to scave off spending thousands of dollars because i know it's not going to be like 200 bucks to because i don't know if you could even uh, detach this sink from the vanity the fucking giant Thing, I'm going to uh, basically just try to seal that with this impregnator sealer and hopefully it doesn't get worse But anything's better than just replacing it. So uh, I, I use my uh, water pick To clean out the thing To get all like to try to make it as light colored as possible And then I'm going to just seal it and if it lasts 20 fucking years, I'll be happy But yeah, get your fucking heavy shit out of the thing so it doesn't fall into the thing the end. That has been today's life hacks, ending with a very fucking like, mm, why didn't no one tell me this? Because I'm a pretty smart guy, I understand physics. I just didn't think that it would be like, oh, perfume, porcelain, glass, fall. No, that's what happened. So yeah, we could, uh, where's my eraser? We could erase these now. I hope you enjoyed this uh, copy of I try to I try to go around Pasta's signature. She's a very nice signature. I guess we could also erase this. Dan added that. Oh wow, that's okay. That's not coming off, is it? We're gonna have to get some rubbing alcohol on that. But yeah, no, that that was my life hacks. A short one. Eight today. Eight today is is, is plenty. I, I come up with them slower now. I've I've like I started using my own life hacks, which causes me to not have as many problems to to have more life hacks. Anything else, really quick, that I could think of? Oh, waifus, waifu stands, blue tack, gray tack, all those things are great. I'll probably do an entire video just gray tack on the second channel. 
oh, this, is this life hack on the unboxing channel or is this life hack on the secondary channel? Maybe I'll put it on both. Link, if this is on the unboxing channel, link to the second channel where it also is. And if this is on the second channel, link to the unboxing channel where it also is. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Uh.